Hi everyone, welcome back to BMW M3 Drive Around Australia. We've today crossed over from New South Wales into Queensland. We're in Warwick and we're on the banks of a little river here, beautiful little town here. And um, I told you at the very first video that uh, a little bit about the car, what it was, but um, then I would show you a little bit more about it as time went on. So here we are, today's the day where I'm going to do that. And the car's right here with me. We'll just pop the bonnet up and we have as described before a four litre v8 engine all the mod bits and pieces overhead cams and so on i'll just zoom in there we get a closer picture of the engine um, we have adjustable shock absorbers on this one electrically adjustable so i can select a, a button inside the car for a soft medium or firm on the shock absorbers and that's just what that little electrical connector there is on top of the shock tower um, yeah really uh, was groundbreaking technology um, when it came out pretty standard these days now and um, as you can see we've got a lot of bugs smashed across the front of the car now uh, there's a lot in WA cleaned most of them off when we got to Melbourne but now in Queensland a lot more bugs and uh, we'll just step inside the car now, have a quick look in here. Over here, got aftermarket BMW carbon fibre steering wheel and flappy paddle gearbox. This is the DCT transmission, the dual clutch transmission and um, semi-automatic. Uh, there is a clutch in the car but the car does the uh, changing for you. Hydraulic actuator is what does the clutching for you. So all you do is stand on the accelerator and the car does all the rest of it for you automatically. Um, interior wise, we've got full leather interior. This is the Fox red leather. Uh, it took a little while to grow on me this. I'm a, more of a, a black person, uh, but uh, yeah, it, uh, now it's really, I like it. I like it because all the car is black and white, the black carbon fibre roof, the black wheels and then the white bodywork. It was just all black inside, all that we would have is a black and white theme. So I kind of like this, that the uh, this, uh, this fox red leather interior actually breaks it up a little bit, all the black and all the white. You've got your iDrive here where you control everything, a menu from your telephone, your GPS, all the vehicle settings. And, um, radio, CD, TV, all that sort of thing. And um, that's about it for the interior. Um, very comfortable place to be. I'm six foot five or 196 centimeters in the metric system. So I'm uh, taller than average and I fit in here very comfortably. Uh, a lot of headroom um, for this type of sports car. It's very comfortable in here for me. I've got more than enough leg room and the seats are fully adjustable up down lumbar um, you can adjust the lumbar in and out um, you also have a, a fire support which on long trips is really good it's uh, the front of the seat actually comes out a little bit I'll show you that just in a little minute um, but yeah it does make a big difference on a long trip so overall for me as a tall person um, this car had a lot of advantages to it to a, compared to a lot of other sports cars um, just because of the the size inside the uh, in the, the cabin here. Okay, so we'll just show you this little fire support. It's down here. You just put a little there and then that goes back. So it's just a standard seat or up on the lever and out. And yeah, believe it or not, that does make a big difference on a long trip. And you've got all your electronic controls, memory and so on for the seat positions down here. It is programmable to the key. So you can uh, program your key so when you've got your key and you get inside the car as soon as you turn the car on the seat automatically adjusts to your uh, position that you've set and as I uh, said before carbon fiber roof and you've seen in the other videos uh, the black wheels it's getting very dirty behind here because it's done a lot of kilometers and yeah that's it six and a half thousand kilometers so far we've done and um, 
look forward to bringing you updates on the rest of our trip around Australia in the BMW M3. Thanks for watching, see you next time.